Hello and welcome to our next reflection. Uh, today we realize why we were listening so much, why the need for listening to God, listening to other people, listening to ourselves, listening to the environment, the whole of creation, uh, is to help us grow in awareness of ourselves, is to help us grow in awareness of our bodies, uh, our thoughts, our behaviors, our feelings, emotions, uh, all this inner world. Uh, because where is my well-being going to come from? Uh, my well-being doesn't come from the fact that I enjoy physical health. There are many healthy people who are suffering in life, who are not happy by any way, by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, my happiness doesn't come from money. There are many rich people who lead very miserable lives. Uh, and so if it's not money, if it's not health, the chances are it's not in any of the other possessions that we might enjoy or have. That source of well-being has to be somewhere else. That has to be found within us. And it's not just about myself, looking at myself, that is the source of well-being. Uh, no, it's the discovery of God within me. Uh, that is the source of my well-being. Because ultimately my life is from God. Uh, my life is only fulfilled uh, when I unite myself with God, when I live in communion with God. And so listening is there to help me realize that truth and to come into a bigger awareness of it. My well-being uh, depends on me being able to look after my whole self. And that requires reflection on who actually I am. Who am I? Uh, yes, I am the image of God. Uh, but what does that image consist of in practical terms? Uh, what is the makeup of my personality, of my person? Uh, what makes me me? And one useful way of looking at it is to realize that we have the spiritual part of us. Uh, remember, you can't divide those parts into real parts. You can't separate one from the other. It's just for our ease of understanding, of trying to grasp the mystery that we are. Because we are a real mystery. We are uh, a mystery, a reflection of the Holy Trinity. So it's not something simple or straightforward. Uh, we are also a unity of various parts, if for want of a better word. And so we have this spiritual part of ourselves. Uh, we have this conscious mind, uh, the things that we are aware of, that we experience day to day. Uh, we have this unconscious part of ourselves. And we have this greatest gift uh, of all, that encapsulates, that holds everything together, and that is this human body. And so my well-being consists in me paying attention to, looking after all these parts, to make sure there is a balance in my life. Because we can easily neglect one part of ourselves and then wonder, why am I not fulfilled? Why is life not working out for me? What's the matter? Why is it such a struggle at the moment? And I'm not saying that simply by looking after these parts that life will become easy. Uh, but what I am saying is that life will become fulfilled. Life will become a source of joy and deep peace. Uh, a sense of discovery, of growth. Uh, and so the spiritual side of ourselves uh, is a reminder that we need God in our life. We need time for prayer. We need time to listen to his word. We need time for reading his word. We need time to reflect on that word. We need time to acquaint ourselves with our Catholic faith. Uh, we need time to discover some of those great writings of the saints, of the people who have gone before us on the, in this life. And so we need time for God. Uh, we also need to pay attention, become aware of this conscious part of me, my thoughts, 
uh, my attitudes, uh, my behavior, uh, things that actually once I become aware of them, I can do something about them. Uh, we are not in control of what comes into us from outside uh, so much. You know, certain thoughts can come our way and we think, well, it's just there, it just happens. Uh, but once it happens, once I become aware of it, then I can do something about it. It is within my power. It is within my choice. Uh, and so to become aware of, well, how do I look at life in general? Uh, maybe I need to change my outlook on life. Maybe I do need to change my perspective. Uh, maybe what I knew so far isn't enough. It got me through so far, but maybe the Lord is asking me to change, to grow, to develop. Uh, the unconscious part of us also demands our attention. Now the question is, how do you grow in awareness of that side? Uh, that's the problem, because it is unconscious. As the name suggests, it's not that easy. Uh, but we know that by greater listening to ourselves, greater listening to other people, we discover a lot of things about ourselves that we didn't know before. About our feelings, emotions, our drives, our desires, our needs. And once we name them, Again, the good news is we can do something about them. They can also be transformed. Uh, and the awareness of ourselves as these bodily creatures, you know, the physical aspect of ourselves, uh, our bodies are gifts to us from God, precious gifts. Uh, so precious, in fact, that the Lord promises us that they will be resurrected and glorified so they're not something evil or that you can dispose of at the time of death as irrelevant to your well-being. No, this is a precious gift that the Lord will bring back to life and glorify. So how I look after my body will also impact my well-being. And so the balance between all these aspects of who I am is essential to my well-being. And listening is the first step to grow in awareness of all these aspects of my life. Uh, and to realize that for me to grow in my spiritual life uh, is not simply a matter of me developing the spiritual side of things. No, for me to become more spiritual, uh, I don't just need to pray more and reflect on the Word of God. Uh, but I need to treasure the gift of my body. I also need to look after it. I also need to become aware how God speaks to me through my body, through all my aches, pains, tensions, all sorts of things, illness. So many saints we know uh, experience God teaching them something during the time of their illness. And so we know so many people who were in tune with all this, who discovered the voice of God uh, in their illness, in their time of imprisonment, in their time of physical suffering. So God is helping us to grow in awareness. It is the Holy Spirit whose role it is to reveal things to us, uh, to accompany us in our journey to point us in the right direction, just as he did in the life and ministry of Christ. And so to become aware of my body, first of all, is to learn to accept it. Accept the gift that God has given you. It's from God for you. And you're unique. Uh, and you're beautiful. Absolutely amazing. There is nobody else like you in this world. And the Lord says, you are good, you are my work of art. Uh, imagine if we hold on to this message in our daily life. Because what tends to happen is we hold on to the message that the other people give to us. 
well, look at you, you're so ugly, you're so fat, you're so deformed here, look at your nose, look at your ears, look at the color of your skin, you know, you're so white, you're so, you're too black. Uh, and we get it to heart, we allow these words to sink into our hearts. And so we start living by the word of other people. Uh, whereas we forget the word of God, who should be the most important one for us. And the word of God is, I created you good. You are beautiful. You are precious in my sight. You are my work of art. And so to learn to accept what God gave me, to look after it. Don't abuse it. Don't misuse it but to realize this is a treasure. So how do I look after it? How do I ensure I see it in the right way? Uh, because that image is important to us. As I mentioned, so many people suffer because we don't listen to God, we listen to other people. Well, if the other people have this negative message to me, well, don't listen to them. Switch them off. Don't pay attention to what the social media tells you about who you are or how you look like. Listen to God. He knows far better. And his words will bring you life. Uh, and that's why once we become aware of these things, we do have choices. Uh, but first of all, get to know myself. Become aware that... God speaks to me through my body. You know, that, that headache, those shoulders, that pain in there has a message to me. That this heavy heart has a message for me. That these tears that flow out have a message for me. And all of it is life-giving because all of it comes to us from God. All we need to do is to ask for the greater awareness and to focus on these messages. We won't pick all of them up, uh, but we can do our best, we can make a beginning. And so pray with the Holy Spirit. Pray to him, ask him to be with you, to accompany you. And to start with that which is most obvious, your body. Learn to appreciate it. Learn to listen to it. Uh, and see where God is taking you uh, on this journey. God bless.